Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Amy Howard, and welcome to Maker Monday. This is an opportunity that we take to be able to show you how to be able to use the amazing products that we have here at a Maker Studio, but also to be able to inspire you um, how to craft a beautiful life. That's one of our trademark saying here um, at a Maker Studio and Amy Howard. So, um, a Maker Studio, if you've never heard about us before, is a project-driven company that we develop products that allow you to be able to take home decor items, uh, to be able to take furniture, any of those type things, and make it simple enough that you can um, rescue and restore them and make them totally different. Today I'm going over something that I love and I use in my own home quite a bit. Um, is the fact that if you've, if you've heard me or watched me for any amount of time, you know I love to go to estate sales. Um, I'm not as much of a garage sale person. Now, will I stop? Absolutely. Am I a curbside shopper? Absolutely. Gene Howard will attest. If there's a piece of furniture on the side of the road and I think I can get it in my car, it's coming home with me. So, but the fun thing is going to estate sales because one of the areas that you can get a really great deal is in the kitchen. So when you go on the first day, I'll head to the kitchen and I try to get linens. The other thing is usually on the last day when everything's 50% off is the best time to go get furniture. The first day of an estate sale is not the best day to buy the furniture. Um, unless it's an incredible antique piece um, and you get to know the people that own the estate sale. That's a whole other Facebook Live. So anyway, let's take a glance over here. I want you to just see these are a bunch of um, just silver plated trays. Now, the other thing that I wanted you to be able to see, like this one, while it's so cute and it has this detail in it, see, it's it's kind of beaten bung up, and you can get these for like a dollar. They're they're very inexpensive, um, but they are they make such fun gifts. You wouldn't want to give it a, as a gift like this, but guys. I am telling you, these are such fun things to use when you are entertaining. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to be able to use this. So literally on this one, let me move this out of the way. You can have when you, um, maybe if you do a buffet, if you set it up, you can even do this with your family. Um, you can come here and just write out, you can say smoked salmon. You can say what drinks you're gonna have. You can say, um, you know, mashed potatoes. Just write this out. So that way it can sit up here when you're having a dinner party um, and you can let people know. You can get little small trays. You can get little um, um, silver things. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. You can also use the Rescue Restore paint there and even put it in front of the casserole dishes. There's lots of fun things you can do. Um, you can even use our Rescue Restore paint on paper and actually make it into chalkboard. You can use it on cork, a lot of different finishes. But or surfaces. What I want to go over with today is how to take these rescued um, trays that you can get even at the Dollar Tree or at estate sales and make them into great looking decorative objects. Here's another tray right here. This can just be something that can sit up like this um, in a table setting. You don't have to have it that it becomes for a menu board. It could be a decorative piece. You can also have them as serving trays. Um, and I grabbed a couple of uh, other stencils that we're not really going over so much today, but maybe you're having a birthday party for somebody and the trays can have birthday on it. You can do it in multiple colors with our chalk art. So that way when you're finished, guess what? All you do is wipe the chalk off, the chalk art off and you've got a clean slate um, of a tray to be able to use for a totally different occasion. So it's so much fun. Um, I truly love doing this myself. So let me just show you how quick and easy this is. Now, we made a discovery this morning that we didn't know. Laurie was working in the art room and we realized something. Um, our furniture cleaner takes the tarnish off of silver. Like, mind blown. Like, that was nuts. I'm trying to see, here, here, look at the back of this tray. So one of the first things that you need to do, if you've heard me for any amount of time, is you've got to be able to clean the, the projects that you're working on. So we just took a little bit of this furniture cleaner and loaded it up on a lint-free rag. You always wanna make sure you're working on a lint-free rag. And um, she came back and literally it took the tarnish of the silver off. Look at this. Mind blown, mind blown, woo hoo, love this. How many times I cannot tell you that we run out of silver cleaner and there's a special shop that I have to go to to get it. Um, now I know I've got my furniture cleaner and all I have to do is come in and clean these trays. 
um, with this. So how cool is that? All right, so you do want to come and clean your tray good first. You want to get the, all the oil um, and residue off of it. It might not be as old. It might be something that you just got at Dollar Tree, um, and that's okay too. So um, the other thing is too, if you're if you're watching this live, um, I love to be able to know where you're from. Send me some hearts, send me some love, and let me know what city, what state you're from. And if you have a question, we're on Instagram as well as Facebook, ask me your questions. This is an opportunity for me to be able to answer them live. There are no dumb questions. If it's an opportunity for somebody else to learn, especially if you're new to doing this, um, then it helps everybody and it also gives me insight um, and how I can help you. So, all right, so here's a little tray. We put these little bundles together that make it easy for shopping. It makes it affordable. Um, and we, you don't have to buy a whole lot of stuff in order to be able to complete a project. So this bundle that we put together for you today, you're gonna get our spreader to be able to use with your stencil. You're gonna get a small container of the Black Rescue Restore paint. You're gonna get a small container of the um, Silver Metallic Chalk Art going to get a sponge brush and you're going to get the pair of stencil. Now, believe it or not, this is going to go a long way. You'll be able to paint two or three trays with this Rescue Restore paint and you'll be able to do quite a few projects with this. It takes maybe um, a nickel's amount of this um, chalk art to be able to do one of these trays. It's a sm very small amount. So let's just take a glance again of our tray that we did with our pair of stencil. You know, too, if you haven't done um, any etching before, this pair of stencil is great with etching, with our etching cream. It's just a beautiful, beautiful um, design to be able to use on a lot of different things. All right, so after we've cleaned it, you're gonna wanna come back with your Rescue Restore paint. I'm just gonna dip this sponge down in here. It fits nice and snug. And then you wanna make sure that surface area, you have a couple of options. You can take it all the way to this border right here which I think I might, it'll give me a little bit more surface area. So you just wanna, it's called cutting that in. You just wanna lay your brush down and cut that in like that. And it is going to probably take two coats um, just where you've got good coverage and it's not too streaky. And as a rule, I'll decide on a direction. I'm gonna go across like this back and forth, left and right. I'm not gonna go in swirls around like this. And it's gonna take about um, 15 to 20 minutes for this to dry. And then that way you wanna come back and then just put on a second coat, all right? All right, so I've got one here that's already been painted for me and it's dried down. And then that way, I did come back and put two coats on it. The cool thing is a lot of people are like, well, you know, I've used other chalk-based paints, um, and when I put water on them, um, when I put water on them, they are gonna bring the paint off. It's not that way. That's what's really, really important about the Rescue Restore paint, because you can wipe it with water, you can use it as a chalkboard, um, and it looks beautiful. Yes, we have Amy, a question. Instagram is asking, do you prefer using a foam brush, or is that your just your preference for today? That was my preference for today because it's included in your bundle. Um, we have some other brushes that are beautiful synthetic brushes. Matter of fact, in a maker studio, we have a wedge brush. Lori, do you want to get those and let me just show them? We have a wedge brush, we have a triangle and a square brush that are all made out of this microfiber material that lays the Rescue Restore paint down beautifully. Um, it's a tool that the brushes that you use allow you to be able to really do a beautiful job. It's not included in the bundle. You can use the chalk, I mean the, um, the sponge brush if you want to, but if you're going to be working long term on things, this is a tool you want to invest in. Um, this makes me want to paint everything in sight. It's just fabulous. Um, and of course, these are great as far as getting into corners on cabinets and everything as far as the triangle um, and the, the square brush. But yes, this wedge brush is a great tool to be able to have. All right, so. She thanked you. All right, sounds good. We all learn from one another. All right, so once you get two coats of the Rescue Restore paint on your, um, on your tray, now I will tell you, I, I love leaving some of the tarnish on. Just, it's a, it's a personal preference. I think it's fun. I love um, stacking trays. So it, let's say you have an area in your kitchen. You could literally have um, 
seven or eight or ten trays, all different sizes, um, shapes, colors, tarnish, some silver, and they look great stacked one on top of the other if you want to have them more linear. Um, and then you can have sayings on them. You can have different quotes. You can write them out. One thing that's great about our stencils is the fact that um, we have a lot of alphabets. We have words. You can say anything you want, and then that's going to be beautiful on your wall. I love that. I would love someone to do this project, and I want to invite you. We are um, going to be really resharing a lot of projects that our makers are doing. Maybe you're not a maker, but maybe you're a creative, and maybe you enjoy using our product. We are going to have some contests. We're going to tell you some things with our creative team here. Um, projects that we want you to share. This is one I would love to see. I would love to see how you take your old trays, go to estate sales, um, and get them and then do projects and hang them on your wall. How you're going to decorate with them. Love that. Um, okay. So, I've taken my stencil here, and if you if this is your first time to watching, they're adhesive, um, and they are a tri-mesh material that allows me to be able to use them over and over again. So, it allows me to be able to position the adhesion on here, so it's really, really quite easy to use. So, it allows you to see there's some adhesion. It's going to stick, whether I'm working on a vertical or a horizontal surface. All right. So I've got my metallic chalk art, which can also be washed, to the, wash, washed off of this. This will not become permanent. The whole point of the chalk art is that I can wash it off and reuse it and do a whole lot of different projects with it. All right, so I'm gonna take out about a nickel's worth right here. And I'm gonna lay this down. Now a lot of people, if you've not done this before, it's not about coating the surface, it's about pushing it through this mesh. So as I load it up, look at this. You'll be able to see the words appear. That means you're pressing it through. So I'll press it down a little bit like this and then push. Push that through that mesh and you're gonna hear that kind of scraping action. Make sure you get down in the crevices. Look at that. Look how far, guys. This. Look at this. This was just that tiny bit of gel chalk art that I laid down. I'm going to get just a little bit more, but look at that. It goes so, so far. So this is going to come in that bundle. I'm going to put just a little bit more here. So, so fun. Working on these trays is just such a great home decor item, you know, and I know there are a lot of you that have Etsy stores, that you do crafts fairs. What an incredible product to have to make and resell for the holidays, guys. How cool is this? Especially for serving and you can have some things there and you can show them and say, look, you can wash this off and you can reuse it. Maybe you can do it for a birthday party. Um, but it's just such a great decorative piece too in your home. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my, my stencil here. Look at this. Mind blown. Is that great? Is that like so awesome? Now, look at that. That is perfection. It's so, so easy. The other thing I want you to do now, you can hit this with a hairdryer, just allow it to set, because it takes about 10 minutes for it to dry. And then I want you to just kind of come back, lay your stencil down like this, and then continue the rest of the tray. So what a great, great project. This is definitely a big enjoy enjoy the bragging rights. Yes. A couple of questions. One, do you have any hints for keeping the edges of the paint even? Yeah, I, I, and I would, um, depending on your how decorative your tray is, and this one, a lot of times it's easier for me just to take it all the way to the top like this, that I will come in. Here's just a little bit of painter's tape. And I'll come in and lay this out to protect it. The other thing is, a lot of times, um, do we have an artist brush? Um, a lot of times, if I've got detailed areas like that, I will take one of our artist brushes and get it kind of fine, and then just come back with my finger or a little bit of a little rag. So, like if I'm painting it, that way I'm just going to lay it like this. 
and get back in there as close as I can. Believe it or not, see how I laid down my stencil. See how some of the graphics will go off of that like that? Believe it or not, when you get finished with it, it looks a lot better than you think. Um, and you can scrape it off just a little bit. Gosh, I'm loving this. What was, it? was there another question? What were you using to apply the chalk? So this was our metallic chalk art. Um, and in this bundle, you get one of these um, uh, sp spreaders. And so I just cut it up just a little bit like this, so that way I clean it with water and I can reuse it, and that comes in your bundle. So that allows it really easy. Um, I wanna come back now, and I'm just gonna take this to the sink. I'm gonna have a little kitchen sponge, and I'm gonna rinse this. There's no need to use soap. It's gonna clean off very easily with water. And then put the back back on it and put it in the sleeve, and I'm gonna be able to use this over and over and over again. I can use this with gel ink, which is used on clothes, so I can make t-shirts with this. Um, I can make a bag out of it, I can do a pillow. You need to look on our Instagram. If you're, if you're on Facebook and you're not following us on Instagram, I know Instagram's over here, vice versa, um, you need to look on Instagram and you can go to our website, www.amakerstudio.com, that makers, it's plural, on a maker studio, and we have a lot of different project kits and things that we've done. I promise they will inspire you. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for taking time out of your beautiful summer Monday uh, to be able to see how we craft a beautiful life here at a Maker Studio. Till next time, I'll see you next Monday, same time, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, and then have a fantastic week. See you at the estate sales.